concept revolves around taking the front seat. The name of the piece is Rosa Parks took the front seat for justice and equality. So our piece, our, our chair revolves around her taking the front seat. She's looking and gazing out at uh, the events that were taking place during the 60s, 50s, and um, you know, like people being fired with fire hoses, uh, dogs attacking, that sort of thing. The great speakers at the time, Malcolm X, uh, Martin Luther King. So we kind of did a montage sort of slash collage through painting, acrylic paint, to bring this idea across. And Rosa Parks is probably, she's the centerpiece for our seat. She's sitting on the bus seat, taking the front seat. What I did was, was from the perspective of how it would feel as a civilian or a citizen or a tourist riding a bus in, in Israel, modern day Israel. And in the back of your mind, you're always thinking, whether subconsciously or consciously, let me get to my destination in one piece. That hope and optimism and, and clinging to I was worse. She was aggressive. Um, the fact that she went to jail wasn't really on people's minds when this issue happened. It was the fact that she stood up for herself and what she believed in. And that's, of course, the most important part. So I decided to point out this point of her being in jail over not because, because she should have been. There's no reason. You know, these white pastors will move to anywhere they want to go. A lot of these four seats that they're the one row, the beginning row, where she was sitting in. Basically, I decided to just leave it plain like that instead of coloring it because if I were to color it, it would just it would symbolize too much, really, is what it comes down to. And I just wanted to leave it plain like a normal bus seat, like a normal person. You know, that's everyone's the same. You know, just matter what color your skin, bus seats are all the same, too. <laughs>
different and equal. All kinds of skin colors, hopefully the same amount of uh, color each. So equally spread over this bus seat. All kinds of skin colors being uh, representational of all of us. And next time you say, oh, this person is white or this person is black, you gotta think twice because none of us are um, actually white, right? Or black, for that matter. And this is also based on um, the idea that within an ethnic group, there are more variations than from ethnic group to ethnic group. So the stereotyping that we try to do is actually kind of dysfunctional. I've called this seat um, Moved by, Mar by Martyrs. And uh, here's some of the volunteers right here. You guys should um, come over if you can. And what really inspired me when I think about the civil rights movement, I'm moved by martyrs. Um, I think that it was really the people who lost their lives and who gave their lives that propelled and pushed on the civil rights movement. I think the death of Dr. Martin Luther King, uh, the church bombing, I think that's what really etched in people's minds that this is crazy, this is senseless, this is wrong, this is an injustice. I think it was those atrocities that really um, Changed, changed the country. And so I want to really call to that to, to the minds of, of people that see this so that we don't lose sight of that and to, so we won't lose sight of where we've come from and what brought us here. It is to represent Claudette Colvin who what, went through the same thing Rosa Parks went through maybe nine months earlier. They arrested her and then a month later before the court she was pregnant and they didn't want to send her to trial because she was pregnant by an older man, she was 15 years old. Not only was she segregated because of her color, but then again because she was young and pregnant, so it's not just an injustice against race. Thank you. 